So, um, sticky notes. A few years ago you didn't see a lot of them, now they seem to be everywhere and they are completely synonymous with design thinking. In fact, many people seem to think that so long as they're using a sticky, they must be working creatively, which is really not always the case. So how can we get more out of them and how can we make sure that we're getting the basics right to make sure that such an obvious, simple tool is actually doing its most to work for us? So there are a couple of refresher reasons for why would you use sticky notes in the first place, particularly in a design thinking context. One is that it saves time. Uh, it allows a whole bunch of different people to contribute in their own voice contemporaneously so you get their thinking up on a board and then you can do stuff with it rather than having it all go through a gatekeeper who will filter and translate it to suit their own agenda. So it's fast. Uh, you can move them around. So you can put them up and then re-stick them and move them around in order to look for different patterns and relationships and associations because really they are an insight finding tool. So what you are doing when you're using sticky notes is not trying to condense things onto a page, you're trying to put them in a form that allows you to find insight that will allow you to frame the problem better, um, better later. They force concise thinking. So for anybody using a biro uh, to write war and peace, that is not concise. Three to seven words on a sticky note forces you to be concise and, and specific or discreet in the thought that you have, which makes your thinking clearer and makes it easier for other people to understand. So you're already thinking harder just by having to translate it onto a small sheet of paper. And finally, they can be used anywhere. Um, I don't think any of my bags. Uh, are, I feel complete without sticky notes. I, I carry them all the time. You can use them on windows, boards, whatever. You can use them absolutely on tables. I use them constantly. You can use them anywhere. So they're incredibly convenient. So that's why you use them. Now, if you want to find out how to use them better, um, I've actually just released an ebook, a free ebook download uh, on using several design thinking tools, getting the most out of them. And I've got 14 tips in there. But here are a couple that might whet your appetite that would improve the way that you're using sticky notes if you're not doing these already. The first one is a really obvious one, but it's also the one that I see gets missed the most, which is make a point. Don't stick one word up there and hope that it uh, resonates somehow later on. Make a point. So one of the biggest things that I see people trip up on because they're trying to be concise is they synthesize everything to one word like culture or infrastructure. And if you think that the idea of using sticky notes is that you can come back to this in a half an hour or two days time or somebody that wasn't in the discussion can come back in and have a look at it, it's got to make sense. The number of times I've seen people walk up to it and go, um, culture, well, yes, that's a concept, but I don't know what that means. So what is it about the culture? What is it about the infrastructure? Infrastructure needs updating. Infrastructure is letting people down. Infrastructure is too complex. What's the point you're making? So make a point. Secondly, this is the other thing that I see um, people tripping up over the most, is that when you're putting them up, the temptation is to start ordering them as you place them up on the board or the window or whatever you're using. Don't. It's a different part of the brain. So creative process says go wide and then go narrow. To go wide, write all the points, put them up randomly. Because remember, you're looking for new patterns and new insights. So you're looking for something that's unexpected. If you start to sort them as you put them up, you're already driving them. You're closing too soon. You're driving them into a pre-existing assumption or pattern, and you're not going to get the juice from it. So leave yourself open to surprise, put up with the untidiness and get comfortable with it, and put them everywhere, then sort when they're all done. And finally, everybody's favorite tip from all of the classes that I do, <laughs> which sadly is the most memorable piece about some of them, is that when you're using the simple sticky note, peel from the side. See? Because if you peel from the side, then it sits flat. If you peel like this from the top or from the bottom to the top, which is how most, you'll see you've got a curve, then when you put it here, 
it sits up. Now given that the whole idea of using sticky notes in a group is to make visual uh, communication easy, it's darn hard to read something that's sticking straight out at you. So pro tip, peel from the side if you want a flat sticky and then look like a pro as you go through. So those are a couple of tips. If you'd like some more, I've got plenty of them. Uh, they come from years as a practitioner and of teaching this in spaces inside of businesses and out. Uh, please download my free ebook. Uh, the details will be at the bottom. And um, good luck with it. Thank you.